In this specific video, you're going to learn how to do basic keyword research and create a site plan. Now, this step is necessary and important simply because if you begin to create your WordPress site, not knowing exactly what your keywords need to be for categories, for meta tags, for titles, and in terms of creating your content, what kind of keywords you're targeting, then your site is going to be targeting the wrong crowd. It could be targeting the right crowd in your mind. However, it, it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you do the proper keyword research. Now, I'm going to show you several steps that you can use to create a site plan. The first thing you want to do is hop on over to Alexa.com. And the reason why we're here is simply because we want to find sites that are going to be similar to your site. In other words, we want to look at your competitors and view what they are doing and what kind of keywords they are trying to target. And once you find a pattern in a similar pattern in between all of these competitors, then you have a better direction as to where you should head. So let's pick a topic. Let's say for example that I'm targeting a wedding planning niche and I need to find several wedding planning websites so I can get a better understanding of what kind of keywords and the layout of their site. If I go to Alexa.com and I type in in the search box wedding planning and I click on one of these keywords we'll do a checklist and what Alexa.com does is it ranks sites from how much traffic the site could be getting and so forth now as you can see here it already starts to give you keywords that you can use checklist for planning a wedding wedding planners planning a wedding and so forth so let's go ahead and just view these websites. So I'm going to open in a new tab in my browser and let's just go ahead and look at these sites. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, it'll actually show you the percentage of search traffic for these keywords. Like wedding planners has 56.78%, wedding planning has 17%. So there's a difference there. But wedding planners are types of people, steps in planning a wedding, steps to planning a wedding. <clears throat> so now we see there's a big difference. There's 1% here and there's 17% here and 11% here. Let's take a look at this site here and do this exact same thing. Wedding planning checklist, wedding budget, checklist budget checklist wedding so as you can see these are about the same keywords except for they are just rewritten in a different combination so we got budget checklist wedding this is backwards or this is backwards so this tells us that we might want to be going after these two keywords here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've got wordpad open right here and I'm just going to copy these two over here. And I'm going to go back to the Miami wedding planning site. And I'm going to copy this here over to here. And you can see the differences here. There's more search engine traffic going for a checklist versus for the general keyword term wedding planning. So this tells me I might want to actually go after these two keywords versus just this keyword because this, these two are a lot more specific. I'm going to look at the other URLs. And let's say, for example, that I have, okay, I've done all my research and I'm good with these three keywords. So these are my main keywords wedding planning checklist and wedding budget 
checklist. So I'm going to target these two keywords primarily. So that means that I need to have keywords that are related to these keywords. So what I'm going to do now is simply to go to a site called Keyword Spy. That's KeywordSpy.com. We're going to enter this keyword over here. And what this does is it gives you a list of keywords that, and they will also tell you the CPC, which is cost per click, and the search volume that each keyword is getting. So this kind of gives you an expansion of the keywords that you entered. So you've got wedding planning checklists, wedding planning to-do lists. So I'm going to copy these over here. Wedding reception ideas, wedding reception planning, and so forth. After you've copied the keywords that you want to copy over, hop on over to google.com. And at this point, we're basically going to dig deeper. So let's say, for example, wedding checklists, wedding planning checklists, put that into Google. And at the very bottom, Google is going to suggest some related keywords right here. So what we want to do is simply copy this here and put it under here. And then after you do that, you can simply go find the Google Keyword Tool, which is at the very top. And if I go back to WordPad, this is going to be my main keyword, Wedding Planning Checklist. So let's say, for example, I want to eventually rank on the Wedding Planning Checklist. Printable wedding plan, printable checklists. We could budgets. So these right here could be categories. Timeline planning checklists, dresses, invitations, and so forth and so forth. And let's say under the wedding wedding budgets or we'll type in wedding invitations we're going to do a search in Google Keyword Tool and the reason why we're using Google Keyword Tool is because the Google Keyword Tool gives us a lot more ideas and it digs down into each category so what I basically did was created a bunch of categories these are going to be categories and under each category you have a list of posts or pages and things like that. So under wedding invitations, you could have custom wedding invitations, printable wedding invitations, and so forth and so forth. Now, Google Keyword Tool actually gives you statistics in terms of how many local and global monthly searches there are, how much competition is it for each keyword, and so forth. So you could even focus on low competition or medium competition. For example, I could go here and click on advanced options and filters and can make the competition low. Do a search. and put competition as low and medium and do a search and get some more ideas I can just focus on low and medium keywords that just means how much competition is trying to rank on that keyword 
and I can focus on these and create posts and pages around this. And what this does is you can copy this under each of these categories. And what you can do is this is a category and then you create the post. So now you have an idea of how you can create a keyword site map or keyword plan for your site. You can easily create the posts and the pages and use the methods that I'm going to show you later on with LSI latent semantic indexing content and how to write that kind of content and you'll definitely get better rankings on Google and get a lot of targeted traffic to your site.